The city of San Marcos is breaking ground today on a new fire station. It's going to replace the older one that they started using in the 1950s. Chris Davis joining us now because, Chris, this is going to give firefighters a lot more space. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that current fire station number two is just an old duplex. And get this, the fire engine doesn't even fit inside unless they fill it with water to bring down the suspension. So this new fire station two is going to look a lot more like this one. This is the much newer fire station number four. It's a lot bigger and it's going to allow for twice as many firefighters to work here in the future. And the fire chief hopes it happens soon. Richard Hauser planted this pecan tree from seed 40 years ago. I started in July of 1980. As the trees grown, so has the department. There were an average of 10 firefighters to a shift four decades ago. Now it's more than double that. And we have five fire stations. When I first started here, we only had three fire stations. The city's still growing vertically. If it takes three times as many people to address a fire on the third floor or above as it does to address a fire on grade. Fire Chief Les Stevens wants to hire 33 new firefighters. That would help him get to a minimum of 26 on every shift. Right now, the minimum is 17. If a major fire breaks out above the third floor... I think it'll be a struggle. It really will. We'll, uh, we'll really expect a lot out of our guys. We'll expect all of our mutual aid partners to come and assist. The new fire stations have enough space for a second company, doubling the daily shift at those spots. It's the wave of the future about our new fire stations here. Richard is retiring this year, so he won't work in the new station number two. He hopes the city will replace him with several new seeds. We need the manpower. Things are getting bigger. Just because they're newer doesn't mean they won't burn. So the department commissioned a report from some consultants to study this firefighter shortage. They were, uh, there were some delays with that report, but they do expect to have the first draft soon and be able to start looking at what they need to do immediately. Absolutely. 33 firefighters um, seems like a lot, but it seems like it's needed for San Marcos, too. But just thinking about San Marcos, I have to ask you, Chris, would more firefighters have helped when it comes to that fire that we saw with the iconic village apartments in 2018? Five people died in that massive fire. If they had more firefighters, would that have helped the situation? Yeah, it's hard not to think back to that and, and wonder what could have changed. But the fire chief says it would not have saved lives to have more staff in that situation. He says there was a delay in reporting the fire and the victims had already died before the first truck even got there. Now, he did say a couple more engine crews might have been able to stop some of the adjoining buildings from burning. Good information, Chris. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, today's groundbreaking happens at 3 p.m. The new station number two will be in the new La Cima neighborhood. That's northwest San Marcos. Construction should take 10 to 12 months on that one. The city is also preparing to build its sixth Fire station using bond money. This one will be in southwest San Marcos, just off of I-35 and Posey Road near the outlets. Expect construction to start on that station in 2021.